Hello everyone, welcome to Hopeful Turns. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you the pattern for a crochet sunflower. Now this is a modified version of a sunflower motif that I have on my channel. So I have tweaked the pattern a bit so as to use this as a keychain and I've also added a crochet leaf to go along with this. So this will make for a great crochet sunflower keychain. Uh, you can even use this as a crochet car hanger. So instead of using this key ring, if you just replace it with a very long crochet chain stitch, you can use this as a car hanger or even use it as a back charm. The pattern is very easy and beginner friendly and it can be done really very quickly. And this will make for a really nice quick crochet gift, especially if you are pressed for time, uh, you can definitely give this pattern a try. So let's see the materials that you uh, require to make this and then we'll start off with the pattern. So to make this pattern here, I have used a 100% cotton yarn, it's a DK weight yarn. And with that, I have used two different hook sizes. So here I have used a size E or a 3.5 mm crochet hook and also a size G 4 mm crochet hook. Uh, now apart from that you would require a pair of scissors, a yarn needle and some uh, stuffing. So now if you do not have this polyfill fiber stuffing you can use some scrap yarns for the stuffing purpose. And if you want to make it as a keychain you, have, you might have to use a keyring as well. So these are the supplies that you'd require. Now if you're ready, we can get started. So we'll start this pattern with a magic circle. And this is how I like to do the magic circle. You take your yarn, loop it around your fingers like an X. Once you have that, just take this loop out. Now take your hook, pass your hook through this loop here and pull your working yarn through. And this here is your magic circle. Now once you make your magic circle, you make one chain stitch chain one okay so here we have got a magic circle we have chain one let's start round one so round one we are going to put five single crochet into the magic circle so you have your chain one which is also in round one and then we are going to put five single crochet into the magic circle so this is one two three four and one more five Okay, so round one, we have chain one and five single crochet. I'm just going to pull on this so as to close the magic circle. Now let's start round two. And we are going to work in spirals. So round two, we are starting on top of the first single crochet of previous round. You have your chain one, just ignore that. And the pattern for round two is we are going to make an increase in every stitch. That is, we are going to put two single crochet in every stitch. So starting from the very first stitch, we'll make the first increase. So make two single crochet in the same stitch. This is one and I'm going to put one more single crochet in the same stitch. Now if you want, you can just count your stitches or you, if you are a beginner, you can just mark your very first stitch of this round. Okay, so I'm just going to mark this. So here in the first stitch, we have put two single crochet come to your next stitch again put two single crochet like that in every stitch I'm going to put two single crochet so this is the second stitch one second so this is my increase come to your next stitch here again put two single crochet one and two Two single crochet so like that in every stitch you can make two single crochet and once you reach the very end you'll have a total of 10 single crochet okay so this is my very last stitch 9 and 10 so that is the end of round 2 let's move on to round 3 now the pattern for round 3 is we will make one single crochet followed by an increase stitch so one, two, one, two is the pattern for this round. So let's start. In the very first stitch, just put one single crochet. I'll mark my stitch. It's not important, but as a beginner, you can mark your stitch. So one single crochet. Now into the next stitch, into the second stitch, make an increase. That is, we are going to put two single crochet in the same stitch. One 
and in the same stitch make another single crochet like that i'll just go ahead and repeat the pattern in the next stitch just one single crochet followed by two single crochet in the next stitch one and two so i'll just repeat this pattern and i'll join you at the end of round three so you're just going to make one single cr crochet followed by two single crochet so here i'm at the end of round three and once you finish round three you should have a total of 15 single crochet let's move on to round four now the pattern for round four is you'll make single crochet single crochet and then an increase so one one two is the pattern for round four so let's do in the first stitch just make one single crochet okay in the next stitch also just one single crochet and then make an increase so here i'm going to put two single crochet one and two and that is the pattern repeat for this round you will make one single crochet one single crochet and then you will make the increase so here i'll put two single crochet so like that i'm just going to go ahead and repeat the pattern so one one two is the pattern repeat for round four so i'll just finish this and i'll join you at the end of round four so here i'm at the end of round four and once you finish your round four you should have a total of 20 single crochet and with this our main center part is done so what we'll do is after you make the very last stitch i'm just going to slip stitch into the very first stitch of this round so make a slip stitch and then you can cut your yarn here so just cut off your yarn okay. so that is done so here we have the circle like this you have to make one more of it so here i have already made another circle same thing you have to repeat and now we are going to join these two together and then attach the petals here so these so this is the right side and this is the wrong side so what i'll do is i'll just fold everything inside and we are going to join the uh, wrong sides together like this okay so wrong sides will be joining each other all right and now we will attach the petals so i'll take my yellow color yarn and for the petals i'm going to use a size g or a 4 mm crochet hook if you want you can stick with the same one but i'm just switching the hook and you can start from any stitch that you like so i'm just going randomly through two stitches of the circle and first of all i'm going to attach my yellow color yarn here so just pull this through i'll just make a knot okay. okay now let's start so into the same stitch i'll insert my hook and i'll try to pull the yarn up and make one chain stitch just so that we can get started uh, just to get the height now into the next stitch we'll make a double crochet so come to your next stitch so next stitch from both the circles okay and make a double crochet so this here is my double crochet in the same stitch i'm going to put a triple crochet so yarn over two times go into the same stitch and make a triple crochet so this here is my triple crochet all right after that make two chain stitch chain two one and two now if you see here we have this chain two and this is the triple crochet so on top of the triple crochet i'm going to make a slip stitch so this is the chain two here is my triple crochet so at the very tip of the triple crochet i'm going to place my slip stitch so here goes my slip stitch now again in the same stitch i'm going to make a triple crochet so for a triple crochet yarn over two times go through the same stitch and complete your triple crochet like this and then again make one more double crochet in the same stitch so into the same stitch i'm going to make a double crochet okay so all of these stitches have gone into the same stitch once that is done now come to your next stitch and make a slip stitch so this here is the next stitch so i'll insert my hook through there and also through the stitch on the other circle 
and finish it off with a slip stitch like this and with that our first petal is done and this is what we are going to repeat okay so we are starting with a slip stitch now into the next stitch we will start with a double crochet so this is a repeat pattern so once you do the slip stitch we'll start the double crochet from the next stitch onwards so i'm going to start with a double crochet so here goes my double crochet after that make a triple crochet in the same stitch so this here is my triple crochet after that make two chain stitch one two then slip stitch on top of your triple crochet here like this then again make a triple crochet so yarn over two times in the very same stitch make your triple crochet all right and then follow it with a double crochet so, so i've made my double crochet okay now to finish off your uh, petal completely come to your next stitch and make a slip stitch so i'm taking the next stitch from the, both the circles and making a slip stitch so that will finish off my next petal and like this i'm just going to go ahead and repeat the pattern till i have a total of 10 petals so i'll just complete this and i'll join you so here i have repeated the pattern and i have got a total of 10 petals so this is my very last petal and this is the last double crochet now we just have to slip stitch so once you are done with the very last uh, petal you just have to slip stitch onto the very first stitch of this round so where you had started or joined the new color you can go there and just make your very last slip stitch there all right and then you can cut your yarn off okay. so with that the pattern for your sunflower is done uh, I sorry I forgot to mention I had also uh, put in a little bit of stuffing when I was uh, making the petals I, I completely uh, forgot to mention about that uh, you can uh, put stuffing or the scrap yarns if you have it and you can that do that also uh, so that's optional I put a tiny bit of uh, stuffing just so that the center is just a little bit puffed up okay now what we have to do is we have to just weave in the loose end so you can use a yarn needle and hide in uh, the yellow color yarn now if you want you can stop here or else you can make a leaf for this so i'll show you how to make the leaf so for that i'm going to take my green color yarn here i'll start with a slip knot and when you're making a slip knot uh, try to leave a bit of a tail so that we'll use this tail to attach it to the sunflower so leave a tail before you start making your slip knot all right and then we are going to make 10 chain stitch okay chain 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 okay so here we are starting with 10 chain stitch next what we'll do is we'll skip the very first chain stitch and make a slip stitch into the second stitch from the hook so make a slip stitch into the second stitch from the hook come to your next stitch make a single crochet this time okay i've made a single crochet in the next stitch also just put one single crochet after that in the next two stitches make one half double crochet each so i'm going to make one half double crochet in two stitches so this is one half double crochet in the next stitch also just put one half double crochet after that in the next two stitches put one double crochet each so i'm going to put one double crochet in the next stitch also i'm going to put one double crochet okay now you have last two stitches left into the second last stitch put two double crochet okay so here in the second last stitch i'm going to put two double crochet so this is one in the same stitch itself i'm going to place another double crochet so here i have put two double crochet in the same stitch okay 
now you are left with the very last stitch so into the very last stitch place four double crochet so i'm going to make four double crochet into the very last stitch so this is one this is my second double crochet two three and i'll put another double crochet four so into the very last stitch we are placing four double crochet and i'm going to repeat the same thing in the reverse order it's just going to be the mirror image of it and i'll i'll not work on this i'll try to hold this back and then start working so if you see you have a line here i'm going to work there okay so we'll start by making two double crochet so into the second last stitch in the opposite side we will put two double crochet so this is one okay and in the very same stitch make another double crochet so here i have put two double crochet in the next two stitches put one double crochet each so if you see there is a small line here that will be the reverse side of your chain stitch so i'm going to put one double crochet in two stitches so this is one and in the next stitch also i'm going to put a double crochet sorry one second i think i have made a step okay this just there will be just one small line that you can work so here also i'm going to put one double crochet okay after that in the next two stitches put one half double crochet each so here goes one half double crochet sorry so here is my one half double crochet in the next stitch also i'm going to put one half double crochet all right after that i'm going to put one single crochet each in the next two stitches so here is one single crochet in the next stitch also i'm going to put one single crochet and in the very last stitch i'm going to put a slip stitch so this here is my very last stitch and this is the chain one that we have skipped so into the very last stitch go there and make a slip stitch like this okay and i'm just going to cut my yarn here so make take a long piece of yarn and cut it and then we'll use a yarn needle to attach it to the very base so that it will have a very clean finish so take your yarn needle and then we'll join this so here i have attached my yarn needle next what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the needle through the very first slip stitch of this round right here and then attach the last piece to it so that will give for a much cleaner finish okay and then i'm just going to hide in the loose ends so I'm going to go back and forth about two to three times so that I'm very sure that this is well hidden. So there your leaf is ready. Now with this yarn end, I'm going to attach it to the flower here so i've got this flower i have already hidden in the loose end and then i'm going to use this and attach it onto the flower so similarly as you have taken with the yarn needle i'm going to do that and i'll just hide that in and then we'll attach the keyring to it so just going go through a couple of stitches okay then come back so go back and forth a few times till you are happy uh, with the the way it is attached since this is a stuffing i'll show you you can go when once you have come here you can go right through this stitch itself and come back onto the black uh, it will not show much on the brown so the stitch you have gone in come through that same stitch out okay take this and 
take it out so if you see you cannot see any uh, green yarn on this so like that i'm just going to go a few times since till i'm happy okay so here i have attached the leaf to the flower here and your sunflower is ready if you want you can add one more leaf that's up to you how you want your sunflower to look like you can repeat the same leaf pattern and attach two leaves and place it the way you like now uh, you can turn this into a car hanger uh, so for that if you're planning to make this into a car hanger uh, what you can do is you can make a slip knot and make about 50 chain stitch and cut off your yarn so you have this kind of a loop here uh, you can just attach it to the back side okay you can just stitch this up and then use this as a car hanger but i'll show you how to make it into a keychain so for a keychain what you can do is you can take your key ring here and just open up the very last stitch uh, last ring and then attach it to the very tip of any one of the petal here okay so attach it to one of the petals and then close this off if you have a plier that would be better but we'll just use our fingers to push this down okay so there your keychain is ready and as i said just play around with the leaf that you want turn it into a keychain or a key ring whatever is your preference so yeah, that was a tutorial on how to do this very pretty crochet sunflower keychain. I hoped you liked it. I hope you enjoyed making it. Now, if you liked it, please do not forget to press on the like button. And if you're new to my channel, please do consider subscribing. See you in another video. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you for watching.